Hi, Ken Asterson here. Today I want to walk through how the corona chart behaves. I borrowed it. We should thank Homeland Security for making the code available. And I have done a minimal investment of my time to make the chart available by simply spicing and dicing my code with the um, Homeland Security code. And we have the results showing here. Okay, what we have, first of all, to understand is we have the layers. We but Bacteria is classified in hierarchy, so we have one layer there, another layer, another layer. So these are all layers on the very bottom. You end up with species or strains or whatever. You can adjust the layers by um, just clicking here to take it down to a lower level now you want to do this for one reason more than anything else because if you go and click on a label which is an outside label not any label not here which will take take or highlight everything you want the outside label when you click on that you will see over here a series of charts showing how much what you have selected on is of everything in the hierarchical so you can do details that way if you go and click something like here you can actually you will okay see that we have a error there if we double click it will expand out that thin, thin slice into what is in the thin side so here we have the next layer down if you want to see if there's more then again we should increase the max depth and we see if there's any additional layers available and we basically run out of the layers within this particular group but we can adjust the layers up or down by the magic number here if we hit something which are particularly of interest here, click it and everything ends up being listed in terms of what we have. This is only 0.2% of all the bacteria. It is 0.8% of just layer down, 4% of layer down, 4% of the layer down. So that is how we adjust things up and down there we can make the chart size bigger if we want and we can even take a snapshot oops snapshot isn't working i'm not going to be too concerned about that you can do a screenshot easily enough um so we can also make the font size bigger nice and simple for those of you who are in the elderly group like myself larger font size is nice but the other nice thing is it means that we definitely have the ability to go and highlight it. Now, if we want to go up a layer, we just click on the layer up we want to go to. As it is, uh, the Beata are it's at the very top layer, but if I go down here, it says, okay, um, I have seven more. Oops. Uh, yeah, I have to drill down and We have okay, eight. So now we have the expanded error, arrow, and now we double click. And now we have drilled down into it. You see the hierarchy is listed here, so we can go up as many layer of the hierarchy as we want. And I'm just going to move this up a little bit. And we see that, ah, excuse me. We see, let me move myself out of the way. We see here we have where we have very thin slides. We have on the right the detailed breakdown of what else we have there. And that's basically it. Um, main thing is the navigation may be different. Key thing is click on the items in the outermost circle always. You can control what's in the outermost circle by 
increasing and decreasing the depth and we can also return up layers by just simply clicking there and things are there mouse over we'll often do it and some of the double overlap ah that moves up the next layer so there's a little bit of mischief there but you can always simply go and drill down appropriately into the next layer go up a layer all the way back here again font size change etc so we have outermost edge with the names for drill down the innermost layer here for drill up and if we want to go down we often have to go there and here i've highlighted this particular group and now we have expanded this particular group to show all the parts and where the slice becomes real thin and hard to read everything is listed there and percentage are sitting there so that's basically it when you're finished with this page you can just click home which will take you back to the usual sample page um some for some items you may find that it gets particularly overwhelming or it takes a while to load this one we have 3600 layers of bacteria and actually some of the layers are missing stuff by the time we finish we have 4500 layers of bacteria let's see what happens be patient for the load time ah there we are we have the low time we can start increasing max depth and that's it so now we have all of the lovely things we can go down and say okay here we have oh alley stripes we'll click on that one double click and now we have the decomposition of the alley types into the components which we have and we can navigate upwards and downwards. So that's basically it. Um, you have a lot of information there, which is nice to explore and get a feel of, but when you hit having to actually do something with the data, that gets more complicated because you have 4,500 bacteria, which is where the rest of my site comes in because I'm lazy. I like AI to do the work for me. Okay, that's it.